Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This video shows you what to do as part of your routine maintenance on your Fire TV stick. Now, I'd recommend doing this probably once a week or once a month. It really depends on how often you use your Fire TV stick. But it's just like I say, it just keeps it clean, keeps it running nice and smooth. So, first of all, I would say go across to the cog just there. If you haven't got a cog just there, then press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control until this menu appears, and then go across to settings. Now go across to applications there, select that, and then go down to manage installed applications. Make sure that once you've gone into manage installed applications, that all applications is shown there. If that's not shown, if it's got internal only or USB only, then just Go into, like I say, show and uh, make sure that all applications is ticked. And then all you need to do is go down to each of the apps on here and just clear the cache. So select the first app and then clear cache. Press the back button, select the next app, go down, clear cache and so on. Just keep going down through all of these and clear the cache. Now, it should be said do not clear the data. If you clear the data, that will wipe all your settings out for that particular app. Any login information, any settings, that will clear that. And you'll have to reset the app up from scratch. So, uh, like I say, just do clear cache and uh, then hopefully it should not muck up any of your settings. So once you've done that for each of your apps, then the next thing to do is to restart your Fire Stick. And when I say that, just grab your remote control, press and hold the play pause button and the middle button on the remote control and hold them down and keep them held down until you see in the middle of the screen, it actually says, there you go, your Fire TV stick is powering off. Let go of the buttons, let it power off. It will take a few seconds and it will restart and that will give it, like I say, a good clean out there. And there we go, mine's now restarted. Now, as an added extra, what you can do is you can use SD Made to give your Fire TV stick a clean out. If you haven't got it, then you'll need to go to Downloader. If you haven't got Downloader, then see my video on how to get that. There's a link to it in the top right hand corner right now. Go view that, then come back to this video. So I'm just gonna go into Downloader, okay? And I'm gonna press the up button on the remote control, then the middle button, and then I'm gonna type in there the number 55072. That's 55. 072 and then press the play pause button on the remote control and then hopefully in a moment it should download SD made so hopefully it shouldn't take too long there you go it's just connecting and it's now downloading once you get to this screen or a similar screen keep pressing the down button until cancels highlighted then press the right button so that installs highlighted then press the middle button and uh, as you can see it's now installing so there you go once it says app installed press the middle button and then you should get back to this screen here we need to delete this here this is just taking up space on the fire tv stick space is something we don't have a lot of so and that's the idea of this video is to clean it up so press the right button so that deletes highlighted press the middle button then press the left button so that the second deletes highlighted and that will delete that now next thing we need to do is just keep pressing the left part of the remote control until home's highlighted go down to files there OK, and if there's anything listed in there, then uh, just highlight it and then press the hamburger menu, this button just here. OK, and then delete anything that's in there. So uh, just do that and there you go. Make sure that you end up with no files found in the download folder. And that again cleans up a bit as well. Then go up to home, press the middle button back button twice to come out then what we need to do is we need to then find sd made so to do that just press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control till this menu appears go across to apps there press the middle button and scroll down to the bottom there and hopefully we should see sd made now mine doesn't actually have an icon for SD made just there so i'm just going to highlight that and then what i need to do is i just need to go across and down to scan there 
Once scan's highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control and here you go, it says a few steps are necessary until you can use SD made. Please follow the instructions and complete the setup. So I'm just gonna press the down button so that next is highlighted. Press the middle button and it says SD made requires storage access func to function. So let's just go down and highlight allow. Press the middle button on the remote control, there you go, and this will come up. Allow SD made to access photos, media, and files on your device. So we need to make sure that allow is selected there. So I'm just gonna highlight that, okay. There we go, and that's gone green now to tell us it's got access. So just go down, highlight next, press the middle button. Okay, so it says usage statistics permissions is required to accurately determine app and cache sizes on your Android version. So let's just allow that. So just keep pressing in actual fact, we've skipped it, but it doesn't really matter too much. It's telling us here that 2.99 megabytes can be freed there. So it says that uh, also system cleaner can, uh, can, can free up 156 KB. So I'm just gonna press the middle button on the remote control. It then comes up about confirm. So just press the down button, then the right button so that run is highlighted, then press the middle button and there you go. It's now cleaned up. So I'm just gonna press the scan button again, just to see if there's anything else. Uh, there's only 28.67 kilobytes to be cleaned. So let's just clean that anyway. So press the middle button on the remote control, press the down button, then press the right button, then press the middle button to run. And there you go, we're all cleaned up. Now, the next thing we can do, and I would say only do this perhaps once a month at most, and that is to turn off your router, okay? Power it off from the mains. Now, if you've got a router that connects into your phone line like this, then turning this off too often can cause a slower internet speed because your telephone provider or your broadband provider does monitor the connection. And if they notice that your router actually turns off quite often, loses the connection to the internet, then they could start lowering your internet connection. So don't do this too often, but it's worth perhaps doing once every month or once every couple of months. And that is basically take the power out of your modem Leave it out for as long as you can. If, if you know, 10 minutes, I would say, would be a good time to leave it out. Let all the power drain out of your router. Let all those capacitors inside discharge, okay, and then plug it back in again. And you've got to leave it about five minutes for it to get itself back in order. That will hopefully improve your Wi-Fi connection, like I say. Only do this as a last resort if you are having problems and only do it really sort of monthly or, or, or every two months, you know, don't want to do it, be doing this every five minutes. Otherwise you could inadvertently lower your internet connection speed. If your internet connection doesn't connect to a phone line, if your router is connected to the WAN port, and you've got fiber to the premises, then it doesn't really matter. You can do this weekly if you want to, but if yours does connect to a phone line, then you don't wanna be doing this too often, just perhaps once a month, or like I say, once every two months. So there you go, there's a good little routine to follow to clean up your Fire TV stick on a regular basis. Keeps it functioning normally, might prevent buffering. Like I say, if it still doesn't prevent buffering, then obviously, have a look to see what speed you're getting on your Fire TV stick. If it's less than, I'd say, 10 megabits, then perhaps try moving your router to somewhere closer to your Fire TV stick, or if you can, buy an Ethernet adapter and plug it in. If it's still a low speed, then obviously test your other devices. And if on your other devices you're getting less than 10 megabits a second, then get in touch with your internet provider and see if you can get the speed increased on that. If your speed is okay, and uh, you're still having trouble with buffering, then uh, perhaps get in touch with the company that supplies the uh, service to you for the TV shows and movies and see what they can suggest. But hopefully the tips in this video as part of your routine maintenance should help reduce problems and buffering. 
Hope this guide helps. And if it did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family and your work colleagues might like this, then share it on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already and you want to find out about all my latest videos, the second they're released, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. You can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.